Hello, this is Daniel Mark, and today I will be doing uh, another graphic novel review. This one will be on Batman vs. Bane. Yeah. For those who haven't read this comic and are intending to read it, um, I suggest you pause now, get it somewhere, come back and you know hear this review. So yeah, for those who just want to know a little bit more about Bane or Batman, on um, you intending to read the comics, um, this one's for you, this one's for you, Sam. Right off the bat, you just because of the way it is, Bane is bigger than Batman. You really know this is gonna focus more on Bane and also the fact that um he his pictures on the cover. Basically, this is about Bane and his life. Basically, um the, the um, title does not lie. There are a few few fight scenes with Batman. Whatever the story begins with him being in sort of like Alcatraz type prison. Um, it goes called Rocadura. He's basically there for life due, due to his father being a rebel. He was born in the prison, and yeah, um, he was he was practically in a coma for a couple of years, or a couple some for some time. Then he was sent to solitary confinement after killing a guy. I believe, um, or beating up someone, if I'm not mistaken, one of the two, and he's basically there for like, until he's 20, 20, 25 years old, he survives, and yeah, he, he manages to get off the island, um, with some help from some of his, in, um, friends, and, but, and, but the way he does, he, he, he's pretty manipulative also during, He's trying to convince his friends and all everything. He does manage to to get you know off and manages to reach Gotham, where which is where he finds himself with Batman for the first time. He sees Batman how he really doesn't kill people, and that surprises him considering that he's killed already people and one one or two people by this time. Eventually, um, he finds this group of people. And he basically straight up murders him. Um, Batman eventually returns, and you know to see any any just um Batman spares one of the bad guys' lives, and Bane and Batman basically have a small talk, and saying, and basically it's like you're a strange guy, Batman. Why don't you kill them? Type of thing. It's like I don't kill. I just protect. And yeah. Um. Yeah, Bane. Before, yeah, I skipped one part. Um, before, before meeting Batman, though, he's he sees like the way he moves, and he's like, "I'm gonna find you," which he eventually kind of does. Eventually, he meets up with Raoul Al, Raoul Al Ghul, Ra no Raoul Al Ghul, yeah. Well, really, with his daughter, um. And yeah, he meets up with his, with Rad Al Ghul's daughter basically. You know, and so not not spit practically trying to get you know, a job with Rad Al Ghul. Um, yeah, you know, Ra him and the daughter get very close. More at least that's what they want us to think. Um, like they want, you know, like they, they're gonna be in a relationship, but the daughter doesn't really want that, calling him an idiot, a buffoon, um, stupid, useless, and everything. Rara Ghul, on the other hand, respects him to a degree, agreeing with the daughter sometimes, yet, um, he says he is essential to our business. Um, yeah. And business being the crime. You know, eventually they go back on the field, the daughter and Bane, and you know, go, you know, try to kill another group, basically, get their surprise, because they're trying to master this type of magic, like, ability, which is become immortal. And this interest is Bane, so, what they're trying to find is a couple, like, documents or books, basically, you know, that has a secret. But when they do find the book, he rips one of the pages out in secrecy, and he keeps it, so the family can't use it. 
he then uses it. He then uses it basically, or attempts to use it. And yeah. But before that, um, before he, I think, I'm not sure if he attempts to use it. It seems like he does. From one of the scenes, then let me. Where was it? It basically this scene. He's talking with like this pastor or like librarian type thing. But it's like under library, but it seems like he's a bit religious. And it's this guy, and you see how here you need a sacrifice, and you clearly see someone being sacrificed. And yeah, so I, so, talk, so I can't really tell what. Like, where that part was. Um, he tries to, you know, come up again with the daughter, you know, relationship, but she she immediately calls the guards and he's put, like, in the prison cell again. He manages to get out. Um, yeah, he manages to basically get out from pretty amazing strategy and goes back to her daughter's room. And basically, you know, not rape her, but force kiss her. He forces to kiss him. Like, right there, and that. Yeah. And then he kills most of the cards after that. Um. And then he ends up having, like, a duel or a fencing match with Ra Al Ghul. Which is where Ra Al Ghul, um. Reveals that he's done this for a lot of times so he's used this spell before. It turns him mortal. Eventually, it seems that this gets resolved and everything goes back to normal. And then Batman makes a kind of cameo you know, at the end. Right there, just as well as seeing like everything goes back to normal. Then after that, you basically have a couple short stories from each of the characters. Bane, you know, Bane's story is basically, basically like the first, um, it's basically the, this, the first quarter of this, you know, storyline, you know, a quick synopsis of this, of the first quarter of the storyline. Um, for Batman, it's basically, you know, the, the death of his parents and why he decided to become Batman. Um, Ra'al al Ghul is how, like, he's lived a long time and how he's used his spell basically when he's not Batman anymore. And, and that's it. Yeah. I honestly. This comic was. This comic storyline was pretty amazing. Um, the artwork was amazing. I mean, you see the grittiness, you see like the that dark gritty side, and which is what's supposed to, you know, that's what's supposed to be intending to have that. And then I also feel bad for Bane, you know, because you know he well, he went through kind of, you know, being in the prison due to his father being an asshole basically of war rebellion, and then him, you know, trying to figure it out, and then. I kind of feel bad for him at first, and then you still feel bad for him throughout the story. Just feel a little bit less and less and less of bad for him, or for some people more and more and more bad for him. And I read this book in the story twice. At first, I felt less and less and less, and then more and more and more. So it varies depending on how you want to read it, you know, in what perspective. Um, yeah. My only complaint is that when, if you guys remember that first image I showed you. Right, I'll go around that mm, Bane sacrificing that man. That one section, um, I wish I could have done it better and by aligning like the story, like the timing or how it works. I couldn't understand the timing between like which part happened first, though. Like, because that, that one issue of that of this story now seemed kind of confusing and like the, t like the time and the pacing and things like seemed out of order. So, I wish they could have controlled that more. The other complaint I do have is that it's called Batman vs. Bane. There's really only one fight with Batman. And then and really you only see Batman three times. I wish they could have shown more Batman, more battles with Batman. You know, sacrifice really should just be called Bane. 
he's just being, in my opinion. I mean, the title's not a line, but it's not lying, but it's also not saying that much of a truth. I mean, it, it, it is a Batman vs. Bane moment, but it's not like the whole thing is Batman vs. Bane. I mean, to show that had at least two, maybe three battles at best. You know, I did like the. I also, what I did like was the emotion between Bane and his and Ra's al Ghul's daughter, the girlfriend, and his girlfriend. You know, um, that was interesting to see. Also, the spell to make you immortal that was interesting to see, and then, you know his backstory, Bane's backstory, and then the bonus that Ra's al Ghul, Bane, and Batman's, you know, so to speak, backstory in the neat issue, but you know, lost in the back. The yeah, each of them have, in, in the bottom, each of them have a small part that says power and weapons, essential storylines, and an affiliation for each of them. If you guys want to see it, and here's the Bane one, the Bane short story. And then if you guys can see, that's the power and weapons, power and weapons affiliation and essential storylines. Same thing with Batman. In here, and Lao Al Ghul, and the uh, same three things. And that's a bonus right out of it itself, right of itself, um, on its own. That's a bonus as well. I mean, yeah, I mean, Chuck Dixon and Graham Nolan, um, they're the two main people who did this. Um, Chuck Dixon is the writer and Graham Nolan is a penciler. And then you also have Tom Palmer, Eduardo Barreto, Bill Sink Wizzik, I think that's his sign I don't know how to say his name. Then you have the one getting getting in Adrian Roy as colorist. I mean Tom Eduardo and Bill were anchors. Android image as separator, Bill Oakley as letterer, and Glenn Fabry as the collection cover. I mean, you have those essential people, but the most, the two, the top two for this this graphic novel would be Chuck Dixon and Graham Nolan, and I honestly think they did a fantastic job. Um, yeah, on a scale of one to ten, one being the worst, ten being the best, and six being decent, I'd have to put this at a seven point five. I mean, there should have been more Batman, you know, maybe focus a little less on the daughter, which would have been nicer. I mean, the, the timing at some point is a problem. And, uh, yeah. And they really don't show exactly how the Al Al Ghul, um, you know, Al Al Ghul, you know, came to forgive Bane at the end after supposedly raping his daughter that's not really explained concerning that's how to do it at the end that's also not really, really explained much but you know besides that it's a pretty good issue i recommend you guys get it you know and that's it um my rate is 7.5 and yeah share this on instagram facebook myspace twitter or whatever you guys prefer i mean comment below yeah comment below on your thoughts on this video if you like it, if you want, I do have other videos on other graphic novels, other comics. I do also have TV series and movies, and then other events in the news that have happened recently. Um, yeah, um, yeah, this is Daniel Mark signing off.